We mentioned Halloween just a moment ago, and we saw plenty of people dressed up in their Halloween best and partying for the holiday like these people here in the Maroney. One man is facing a crush of criticism for his Halloween costume after he walked into a Mississippi bar dressed as a Klansman. The bar's owner says he had no option but to throw the man out. Chris Jackman brings us the story. It's an image millions see as offensive, a symbol of hate. So imagine Brian Carroll's surprise when he saw this. It's my business, so I was the one that was uh, left to either let it happen or not, and I chose not to. Across the Pearl River, on a little two-lane road by the car wash in Picayune, Mississippi, sits Mud and BC's Bar and Grill. On Saturday, owner Brian Carroll hosted their annual Halloween costume party. And like a good host, he was walking around entertaining guests when he saw it. He was dressed in a white hoodie and and all the uh, little patchwork, you know, the KKK on there, carrying a uh, Mississippi flag. Shocked and stunned, Carroll stopped the costume Klansman. So he took the hood off and I said, now you got to go. Carroll says the man argued back but didn't win. He said, for what is a costume, Cardi? I said, that's not a costume. Carol personally escorted him out. A picture of the costume on Facebook soon raced across the internet, as did support for the stand Carol took, especially from black people living in the town. Well, I tell him thank you, he did the right thing. This sends a message to me. Everybody in the city is not racist. We don't want that taking place in the city of Picayune, period. This is 2018, it's unacceptable behavior but I think the owners handled it very well. Mayor Ed Panero. If you want to do Halloween, dress up like SpongeBob. As for those who disagree with Brian Carroll. Really, I've had a couple of little smart comments uh, by people behind some screens that uh, sent to my messenger with no picture. Um, you know, saying obviously everybody's not welcome. Well, they are welcome as long as they're not starting trouble. Carol felt he had no choice because for him, there's no excuse for ignorance, even at a Halloween party. In Picayune, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News. Carol says he didn't recognize the man who walked into his bar.